Hello first graders. Today we're going to learn how to use a new app, one that we didn't talk about last week. It is called the Scan app, and this is the word scan right up here. And we use the Scan app to scan something we call a QR code. Now this right here is an example of a QR code, and you may have seen these here in the LRC. You may have seen them out at a store or in other places that you visit. And it is a type of a barcode that when we scan it, it's going to bring us automatically to a website that the person who made the code wants us to visit. Now I have created some websites or some QR codes for you because I would like you to view some book trailers. Book trailers are like commercials, sneak previews for books. We watch a little bit of it and we know if we are interested in reading the book or not. Kind of like we see commercials on TV for movies that are sneak previews. We see just a little snippet of the movie and we decide whether that's a movie that we would like to see or not. Well, it's the same thing with a book trailer. So this is how you use the Scan app. Um, what you're going to do is when you're on the home screen of your iPad, and here's a picture of my home screen, remember that when we put our fingers in the blank space between apps and we swipe down, like you see me swiping down now, that what happens is we get this screen called our spotlight search, and our keyboard pops up too. And up here is where we could type in what app we're looking for and I would put in S-C-A-N for scan. It was right here. So I typed it up in this bar and you see that the scan app showed up here. So all I would have to do is tap on it there. And it's going to give me access to my camera. I'm gonna be looking out at whatever is in front of my camera screen and I'm gonna see these little corners here. I'm supposed to fit my QR code in the middle of those corners in order for it to scan. So I'm going to go to the paper with the QR codes and I'm going to fit this square right inside this little frame. And once it connects, it's going to bring me to the website. It's going to bring me to YouTube to watch the book trailers for the Monarch Award books. And so this is the screen that you should see on YouTube. And right over here, we have the button that can make it full screen for us. And here is where we would press to play the video. Now sometimes other things pop up when we're watching YouTube. And you don't necessarily want to go to any of these other places or anything that may pop up on the bottom because what you have permission to view is whatever the QR code brought you to. In this case, the book trailer for Bad Kitty School Days. So this is the only thing you should be watching when you scan that code. Because remember, we always have to have permission for, from an adult for the places that we visit on the internet. As I mentioned, uh, the book trailers are for books that are nominated for the Monarch Award. And the Monarch Award is a very important award here in Illinois that kindergartners, first graders, and second graders can read the books that are nominated and vote for what they think is the best book. There are 20 different books on the Monarch Award nominee list, but you only have to read four of them in order to be able to vote. So I thought if you watched some book trailers about the Monarch Award books that you might see four that look interesting to you that you would like to read at home with your family. We have at least one copy of each of the Monarch Award books here in the LRC, and they're in a special display you could see right in front of the couch that is in the E section. And all of the Monarch Award books are shelved right here. Now, not everybody is going to be able to take out one at the same time, but you have the entire year until March to be able to read four of them so that you can vote. 
finally, when you are scanning QR codes and to watch a video, that you wear your headphones so that we don't disturb the other people around us. And we make sure that our headphones are plugged in tight. And if for some reason your headphones aren't working, then you can listen to the videos without them. But please turn your volume on low again so that you're not disturbing other kids. The end.